about the solar system and systems. In grade two, students are introduced to the concepts of systems theory through the study of the solar system. What is a system or what makes the solar system a system? It's all chaotic and then billions and billions of years later, it started to form a system. What happened? Lenny? Um, gravity. Gravity, right? Gravity. That force is pulling them together. Molecules were shooting, shooting, shooting there, shooting here, everywhere. It, and that's how it formed our galaxy. Through their study of the solar system, students learn that individuals belong to an interconnected universe made up of complex systems that include many elements. A system is many things or pieces that work together to make a whole. Like the solar system. If you took the sun out of the solar system, it wouldn't be a system. We measured how many miles is the planet from the other planet that comes before it. We're going to begin as a whole group and we're going to start all together and everybody will have your piece of the solar system. And we're going to take turns walking the solar system. It's going to give us an idea of how different the planets are spaced out. How close some are and how far, far, far apart. How, how far are you going? Go ahead. I was thinking I can't believe how far away the planets are. For Mercury, it'd be 4,900, but we're just doing it to 4.9. The unit integrates math, science, art, and cultural history for an interdisciplinary approach to an understanding of the universe, the solar system, and systems theory. Math, cultural history, science, art, when they all come together, it's integration. We drew a picture of what we thought the Big Bang would look like. We made pretty cool pictures. So you had to first have this wax canvas, and then you have this little tool that helps you make your own design. So I made the Sun, Mercury, and Venus, then Earth. <laughs> These are the solar system books that we made. We wrote all the facts about all the inner planets and the outer planets. Theater arts, we did um, a play. The play was about our solar system, so everybody needs to get to play a part. Like, I was Mercury, Max was the sun. I have 62 moons. I am the second gas giant in our solar system. Rocks. Dr. Thompson, um, he visited our class and he was talking about the solar system. Dr. William Irwin Thompson, cultural historian and architect of the Ross Spiral Curriculum, visited the classroom to talk with students about the Big Bang. When the, when the solar system became a system, uh, a star had to die. It exploded in what's called a supernova, the most brilliant thing in the, in the sky, and it sent all its heavy, heavy, heavy metals into space. They all congealed into the iron core of the Earth and then flash like turning on a light switch, it generated the magnetic field which allowed us to evolve. So we're all carrying in our bodies the material of a dying star. They got to ask Bill a lot of questions about what he knows about Big Bang. And I think sharing a lot about what they know as well and comparing the two. The Big Bang made the universe. 